Hello students, today we shall be taking a reported speech. This particular video has been made on request of my class 9 students. So, all the best, happy learning. Observe this slide. It has two sentences. Imagine your father is unable to reach the sports club and he asks you to inform your neighbor. Now you can either use the actual words which were spoken by your father or you can report it in your own words. So the first sentence is father said I am not coming to the sports club. And the second sentence is father said that he was not coming to the sports club. So basically when we use the actual words of the speaker we use direct speech. And when we give the substance of his speech in our own words, we use indirect speech. All right. So the first sentence is in direct speech and the second sentence is in indirect speech. Now, before going into the details of the rules of reported speech, it is important for us to understand what do we mean by the word reporting verb and reported speech. Now, Look at this sentence. Chris said, I am happy. Chris said, I am happy. So the actual words of Chris, what are they? I am happy. They are called the reported speech and the verb said. Chris said, when we say Chris said, in this said is your reporting verb because it introduces the reported speech. Okay. So this is the reporting verb. It introduces the reported speech and I am happy is your reported speech. Now let us talk of these three main steps while changing direct speech to indirect speech. Step one, remove the comma, replace it with that. Step two, observe the tense of the reporting verb. And step three, once you have observed the reporting verb, so if the reporting verb is in present tense, the tense of your reported speech will stay as it is. However, if the reporting verb is in past tense, the tense of the reported speech changes. So, in the next slide, we will talk of the tenses, how the tenses are going to change if the reporting verb is in past tense. So, the, these are the tenses and this is the rule of sequence of tenses. For, for instance, if your sentence in, is in present indefinite, it will change to past indefinite. Present continuous will change to past continuous, present perfect to past perfect, present perfect continuous to past perfect continuous and past continuous uh, to past perfect continuous. Past perfect and past perfect continuous children will remain the same. Okay. Now there is an exception to the previous rule. If the reported speech expresses some universal truth or habitual fact, then the tense of the verb in reported speech is not changed into the corresponding past, but it remains exactly as it is. For instance, he said 2 and 3 makes 5. He said that 2 and 3 make 5. Okay. So, for instance, if I say he said man is mortal. So, even if my reporting verb is in past tense, I am not going to say he said that man was mortal. Okay. I will say I said he said that man is mortal. Okay. For instance, if you say uh, you said I am an early riser. So in this again, you will not change the tense. You, you will say you said that you are an early riser. So here you are talking of those habitual facts. Okay. So this is uh, you have to this is uh, something which you must remember. Now, when you are changing the tenses, when you are changing the direct to indirect, there are a few words which you should know. They will also change. For instance, the words showing nearness of time or place, they are changed into words which are showing distance. For instance, now changes to then, then, then. tonight changes to that night, this changes to that, here changes to there, these, those. Hence, thence, okay, today becomes that day, yesterday changes to the previous day, last night changes to the previous night, tomorrow changes to the next day, okay, and ago changes to before. So, just keep these points in mind. 
Now there is also a change of pronouns. Pronouns of first person are changed into the person of the subject or speaker. For instance, here the speaker or the subject, she said, she, okay. So it will, this I, when she says, I have known Maria, I will change to she. So uh, in indirect speech, the sentence will change to she said that she had known Maria. Pronouns of the second person are changed into the person of the pronouns that come after the reporting verb. Okay. For instance, in this sentence, he said to me, you are not a swimmer. So I is going to change to, sorry, you is going to change to I. He told me that I was not a swimmer. All right. Pronouns of the third person are not changed at all. All nouns are put into the third person only. So, when I say he said he is a rich man, it will stay as it is. He said that he was a rich man. Now, we have all discussed almost all the rules. Just some more points which you must remember. Please do not use inverted commas, okay, in your indirect speech. The reported speech is generally introduced by the conjunction that. However, this rule again has an exception. The same thing does not apply in your interrogative sentences. The comma separating the reporting verb from the reported speech is obviously removed. The tense of the reporting verb is never changed. All right. So if it is says, it stays as, as says. If it is said, it will stay as said. The question mark and the exclamation mark are not used they will be removed and the interrogative the imperative and the exclamatory sentences are put as statements because you are changing them right so now let us see some examples have a look at all these assertive and interrogative sentences he said i will try to help you so he said i and this comma is removed the comma has taken the place of that i has changed to he okay will will change to would try to help me he said that he would try to help me my father said barking dogs seldom bite now this is a proverb so the tense is not going to change here even though my reporting verb is in past tense i am not changing the tense of the rest of the sentence my father said that barking dogs seldom bite so you have to keep in mind all these rules she said to me i told this story to your brother so now wherever you have said to me, so that said to me will change to told me. And please remember, you do not write to after told. Many students commit this error. They write, she told to me. Okay, so this is wrong. So it will turn into, she told me that, comma changes to that. I again change to the first person to the, this uh, she only. It will change to, I will change to she. She had told that, this to that story to my brother. Okay, now observe the interrogative sentences. Okay, please remember in interrogative sentences, you are removing the comma. However, you are not adding the conjunction that. All right, because in interrogative sentences, if the question word is given, okay, if the question word is given, that will take the place of that. So, for instance, she said to me, what is your name? I have seen that there is an inter there, this is an interrogative sentence. So, I will say he asked me what my name was now if you say what was my name children it will be incorrect all right because you have to change it into a statement and for that your my name will come verb will come after my name okay if you say what was my name you are changing it again into a question which is not the uh, intention right nirmal said to me when will you return nirmal asked me when i would return so please remember Remember to bring your uh, subject uh, before that, okay? Nirmal asked me when I would return. Your pronoun will come before the verb. I said to Anita, have you done all the sums? I asked Anita. Now, in this case, when there are no question words, you bring if and whether in the picture. So, I asked Anita if she had done all the sums. All right. Now, imperative sentences. The captain said to Jim, leave the ship in double quick time. So now this seems like an order. So you change it, say, you uh, say, the captain ordered Jim to leave the ship in double quick time. So in imperative sentences, there can be requests, there can be orders, there can be suggestions. 
instructions so we basically pick up two okay and use the first form of the verb so we are using basically infinitives imperative sentences are the easiest ones to change direct to indirect sentences okay direct speech to indirect speech so imperative sentences are children generally find it very easy so in the first it was an order next let's see what is it, uh, what is it i said to my friend work regularly i advised my friend to work regularly so you just add to to the verb okay and rest of the sentence remains the same i said to my friends let us go to the ganga for boating i proposed to my friends that we should go to the ganga for boating now this was a little different sentence so we had to bring that also in the picture exclamatory sentences now i said hurray my family has come home so there is you can sense hurray is not used when you are sad so it is used when you are joy uh, when you are uh, basically filled with joy so here we say i exclaimed with joy that my family had come what a brave fellow you are he exclaimed he exclaimed that i was a very brave fellow may you succeed in life said i so here basically you are wishing okay you are blessing somebody so you can say i prayed that he might succeed in life okay so that is it children that was all about reported speech i hope i was able to do justice to the topic thank you for watching